All right, I thought I'd show this a uh, little bit of the, the breeders I set up of the uh, half black pastels. Uh, it's just one male and three females in here. Uh, the tank glass isn't dirty, it's a uh, kind of hardwood or stain. So the next time I take a tank down, this one, I'll have to try cleaning it with that barkeeper's uh, friend stuff. And then rinse it real good and see if I can get that off. But it's a nice male, and with three nice females. And there are some fry in there now. I think there was a couple in here, a couple of fry when I did the fish room tour last week, or yeah, about nine days ago. Uh, but now there's quite a few more fry, and uh, they're kind of all over. But sadly, like I said, the side of the tank is pretty etched with hard water stains. So the other thing I figured I'd show is uh, when I did the uh, uh, the fish room tour, I mentioned that I set up uh, some Roebuck Reds to be a breeder. So it was two males and three females. And uh, this female hasn't had fry yet, but there's an absolute ton of fry in here. And it was from this female in the back. And she didn't, uh, she's not, bouncing back too well from it so uh, sadly I'm gonna be pulling her out and uh, moving her into a small like a two and a half gallon tank to treat with uh, some medications but once they have too many fry like this in one shot which I'm trying to get the fry on here so you can see them all a lot of times something internally has happened and they just pumped out all the fry they had and uh, really can't recover from that but so what I'll end up doing I had mentioned in prior videos that when I get a drop of fry I like to raise the fry in a small container a one gallon or a two and a half gallon tank for their first couple of weeks and I do that like I mentioned before to keep the uh, fry in a small area so they can find the food easily. And in this instance, since there's so many fry, I'm going to uh, take these adults out, move them uh, into a 10 gallon tank, and I'll probably throw a couple of more females in. And then I'll leave these fry in this five and a half and raise them in here for probably the first month but there are there's a lot in here so at some point i'll have to uh move this whole thing into a 10 gallon tank as well because i don't want to stunt their growth but now i have sold the roebuck reds to some other people that have gotten albino fry i've never gotten albino fry out of them as of yet and uh there's probably about 40 fry in here and I don't see any albinos so maybe they taste good I don't know what the deal is but I don't get any so eh, so we'll see what uh, what goes but I'll add some more stuff to the video just wanted to uh, point out all the fry and that what can happen sometimes with a, a female that kind of just uh, internally something really went kablooey and all the fry just did her in so hang in there i'll be back with some more stuff probably random stuff and I'll be right back i just thought i'd throw this in the middle of a video these are the, the baby quarries i was able to raise i guess they're about a quarter of an inch long it's one of them and they're a little tough to see in here the light another one right there so I was able to come up with four of them out of that group uh, the rest were a little too weak but these are doing great they're just in a small one gallon tank and I just will get ready to move them into a larger tank and uh, I was pretty happy that I got some to hatch because the colony was very old they did lay eggs again, but I didn't take them out this time. So, very happy with uh, getting any of them.
to be viable because it's been about a year since I've been able to raise any of them. So, a little tough to see there. Let's see if we can, if it helps if I turn the light out. That actually helped. So these guys, like I said, are about a, maybe a quarter of an inch long. Uh, one of them is even tinier, and uh, that one right there. And it's probably the biggest one in the tank, is this one. But you can see everything's fully formed. So uh, got the whiskers, got everything going on. And same with this one. I'm not sure about his spine. I have to keep a, an eye on that. So. Uh, it's hard to tell. I gotta wait till he gets a little bigger. So if it's a little bit crooked, I'll just put him in a different tank. I'm not gonna get rid of him or anything. But it looks a little funky to me. The rest of them look fine. So, all right, I'll add something else in here. Uh, what kind of music do aliens listen to? Neptunes. Neptunes. That's from David Samsel. I like it. It's pretty good. All right, so this is the... Uh the tank of just a bunch of fry from those uh, Roebuck Reds. I moved the breeder group out, trying to back out a little bit so you can see how many are in there. There's quite a few. There's a lot hidden up in the plants. I was, I was going to pull the plants out of here because I usually keep them in for cover, which they obviously don't need anymore. But this was a really nice... Uh, batch. The female did pass away which kind of stinks but you could tell that she kind of had way too many fry and that does happen you know, from time to time with uh, some females. Kind of sad. There's really nothing you could do about it. There's no treatment or anything. It's just something internal I guess happens. So quite a few in here which is very cool and uh I'll show the uh, breeders. I did move them out into a 10 gallon tank and uh, I just fed them some live baby brine shrimp so you can see their uh, bellies are kind of pink and there's not too much to see with weak old baby guppies but there you go. So why is turtle wax so expensive? Because turtles have little tiny teeny ears. Oh that's pretty good that's from my brother. All right, let me show the other ones. All right, I'll wrap up the video with this. Uh, it's a 10-gallon tank that I moved the uh, Roebuck Red breeders into. And uh, I added a couple of more males. Let's see if we can get this to focus on them. So females uh, are all looking like they're filling out really nicely. Probably won't be too long before there's some more fry. And I'll have to free up another tank somewhere to make room for them. I'm probably going to uh, combine uh, the uh, Red Cobra tanks into one. I have two tanks of them. And then I can free up another 10 gallon tank. So, uh, other than that, they adjusted well to being moved over. And I did put a bunch of plants in. I think there's a other male or two hiding up in the plants. Um, so far so good with these. Uh, it's a great line. Had it for about 14 years. And a uh, fantastic shade of red. Trying to get to focus on them. As I only find females now. And uh, I, mean, I am supposed to get some albinos with it. But I never really do. And like I said before. Maybe even in the earlier part of the video. Some people I sold them to have said they got albinos, so uh, one of these days I'll get them. So, anyhow, that should do it for this video. I appreciate you watching, and uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments, or you can send me an email. And I really uh, will be having uh, another video up in a couple of days. And uh, once again, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave them in the comments or send me an email. I put my email address in the video description. 
or you can leave them in the comments. So anyway, thanks very much for watching.